We are back. Five questions with ABJ. New Era Pro Wrestling. Uh, hanging out with the owner of the cave. We talked about it in the Five Questions with ABJ. Very horror inspired. So what better set of questions? Let's go full horror movie. So what is your favorite horror movie genre? The zombie genre, hands yeah. down. <laughs> now, is it Pennsylvania is the birthplace to the zombie movie? Like Romero started that in Pittsburgh. Day of the mm -hmm. Dead, the Dawn of the Dead. That's my personal favorite movie of all mm -hmm. time. Night of the Living Dead in Pennsylvania. Like we're we 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 started that shit. We we have it for sure. Uh, that is. It, you might as well just rename Pennsylvania Romero as far as I'm concerned. Yes. Uh, I, I actually just, I love Fright Rags, great horror movie company. Mm -hmm. And I bought, uh, it comes with a lunch box, a bunch, and then a bunch of figurines of all Night of the Living Dead stuff. Like, I, I'm a huge horror. I love it, yeah. So, uh, that being said, what is your favorite scary movie? <sighs> Day of the Dead is my hands down favorite horror film. The, the, the original from 1985. Yeah, the original Day of the yes. Dead. Uh, what got you interested in that movie? Honestly, it was just watching all the other zombie, zombie films um, and kind of going through that library and then, you know, finally getting to Romero's work at some point in my life. I can't tell you when the first time I watched Night of the Living Dead because I don't remember. Yeah. Uh, same with Dawn of the Dead. But then I discovered Day of the Dead and I was like, holy shit, this is great. How, why did I wait so long to actually watch this? And, you know, Day of the Dead doesn't get enough love, I think. It, it yeah. does, definitely does not get enough love. And I know why people don't like it and I know why the critics hate it. And I can ramble on about this for about an hour. I'm not going to. <laughs> but it's, it's such a great film. I, I just love everything about it. The so mood, I the also atmosphere. I do full movie review, so if you have a cool yeah. setup at home, like it, we could Zoom call and do a, we could do a Day of the Dead review. I have a horrible I'll, setup I'll, I'll home. give you the whole hour to, to vent about it. <laughs> um, what is your favorite ca character or part of that movie? Oh, that, I mean, the obvious answer is Bub. Uh, Bub's a great character, but I love Captain Rhodes. Um, I, I the character, the, the character, of, not so much the development because he's he's a prick the whole way through the film. Yeah. But the lines that Romero gave him and, and just the way that uh, he delivered everything in that film, he is the villain, but you're also cheering. Every single time he said the F word or anything like that, you're like, yeah, yeah, make him feel it. And it's yeah. just great. <laughs> um, what is your least favorite thing about the movie or the franchise in general, and what would you change? Going off of Day of the Dead, the obvious answer is the ending. They just did not have the budget to run with it. Um, when Romero was making Day of the Dead, he had this, it, it was supposed to be this like gigantic zombie epic. Um, and when they were filming and they were doing all this kind of stuff, the, the violence of the film was so severe at that point in, at that in the 80s. Yeah. It, it was so, you know, it was critical mass violence, and the studio wanted nothing to do with it. And they were like, R Romero was asking, let's just say, like $10 million to make the movie. The studio was like, we're not going to give you $10 million to make this movie. If you want to make this movie the way it is, we're going to give you $4 million. And Romero, being who he is, he, he just said, well... If I don't make it that way, you're going to give me the 10 million, but I'm going to sacrifice my vision. So what he did is he took that 4 million and he made that movie. And unfortunately, the ending suffered a little bit, and like bits and pieces of the movie suffered. If you watch, if you watch Land of the Dead, Land of the Dead is actually a companion piece to Day of the Dead. What he did in Land of the Dead was supposed to. Um, continue on mm -hmm. from Day of the Dead. Yeah. So that that's where it kind of picked up on it. it it's almost like like all the other zombie movies are so hyper fixated on one spot, and mm -hmm. then those movies are kind of like zooming it out and showing how it affected the world. Yes. Yeah. 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 Uh, what's your takeaway when it comes to watching a good zombie movie or one of those movies? It's the world that Romero created. He he did something special with the zombie genre, and um, it's. It's a treat to watch. Even the last couple sequels, if you will, that he made, they're not, they're not awesome by any means, but they're good, and it's, it's what he left behind for us. So it's they're, they're still a treat to watch. Yeah, you know, I, I I love Romero, but I really enjoy how Zack Snyder is kind of making some zombie movies. I, I know the runners are not everyone's favorite. I do like the remake, but that recent one he did with. Um, the, the Vegas one, 
Like it was like a heist movie as yes. well. Like, yes. I, I thought that was a lot of fun. Yeah. I had a good time watching that. That was a good time. And I, I do like his Dawn of the Dead remake. I, I thought he did pretty good. And that was kind of like the pre Zack Snyder that we all sort of know now with yeah. what's been going on with him. Uh, but yeah, that, that's a fun movie. I dig it. It, it, it was a good it Are was we going to get a flick. zombie scent? Yeah, probably, probably coming. That's just so hard to translate because yeah. I, I try to make the sense kind of smell like the name a little bit or kind of play off you the can name go a little like bit. A funeral home, like patchouli and 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 Frankenmer. Like we could, one, yeah, we could. <laughs> like, like embalming scent or something. We could do an earthy, gravy, wet, dirt type scent. Yeah, we, yeah. we can, we can do something like I that. I love that. All right, well, uh, where can people find and support you? You can hit us our website. Or you can hit up our website at thecavenepa.com. Again, that's thecave, T H A E C A V E N E P A dot com. There it is. Stick around for that bonus question. We'll be right back. Bonus question. Now, I am love my horror. I love pop culture, but at the end of the day, I'm very much pro wrestling. So, we're gonna we're gonna take horror icons and we're gonna put them in a fight. It could be a one on one, a triple threat, tag team. You can book it however you want to book it. Mm -hmm. But who's going against each other? Why and who wins? All right, that's a great question. <laughs> so, for me. The best answer, you, you got to put Ash from the Evil Dead series in there. Love that. And I think his opponent has to be Pumpkinhead. Okay. And here's the reason why. One, Ash has to win. He's not going to lose. Nope. You got to give him somebody that he can potentially defeat. And you got to give him something that can kind of be a story to relate to the Evil Dead. So this is where Pumpkinhead comes in. Because we all, if you know the story about Pumpkin Ed, you know he has to be summoned by somebody. Yep. Well, what if somebody summed, summoned him from the Necronomicon? Okay? And the way Pumpkin Head dies is you got to kill the people that summoned him. Ash can kill the people that summoned him. So right there, you got your story. You have a decent, yeah, I mean, it's not a plot, but you have the basis of a plot. You have something that can kind of be tangible and work with it there. So I think I think Ash versus Pumpkinhead is doable. I think that's more doable than Jason or more doable than Freddy because no matter how many times you kill those guys, they're going to come back. It, it would see it would be awesome to see Pumpkinhead then almost Pumpkinhead getting taken over by a dead eye and getting like a different look of Pumpkinhead. Too. That would be amazing. That'd be awesome. I, 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 you sold me. I, I never thought I'd want to see another Pumpkinhead movie, but him versus yeah, that'd be that'd be great. Yeah, you won. <laughs> That'll right do on. it. Five questions, ABJ. Check it out. Go buy these amazing products. Support small business, especially right here in Northeast Pennsylvania. We'll see you on the next one. We're out of here. Peace.